How to get the most out of enchanting. Hi there, I'm Golden Routes, and today we'll be taking a look at how you can get the most out of enchanting. Some may already know this, but some may not, because the typical way of enchanting is through disenchanting green pieces of gear, and we don't need to do that anymore. So, I this guides mostly for those who don't know, um, or probably are still disenchanting their greens by accident, not realizing that you can get more gold off of selling the greens than you can from disenchanting the greens. This works for some blues as well, as they do dip below the price of the Vibrant Shard, but not many of them do dip below that price. So I recommend selling off all of your greens and blues if you can. That way you can maximize your gold for enchanters and all of that. So basically what happens is there is a specialization in enchanting. If you go to, I believe it's something in the blue, inside of the blue, and you put all of your points towards this, you have a 10% chance of locating mystic items, but you also get more mystic item increases by other uh, means of this specialization. So what that means is you have a higher chance of getting basically items to disenchant that don't vendor for anything. So it's more worth it to disenchant the items that don't vendor for anything rather than disenchanting items that do vendor for quite a bit. Um, if you don't go inside of the blue then unfortunately I would recommend enchanting or disenchanting those greens and blues but if you don't go with inside of the blue then you're specking for the wrong spec for enchanting. That is all. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.